Welcome to How to Rock Spirit's Sun Moon Alchemy series. This audio was compiled and recorded by Dustin Cormier, a Leo Ascendant Scorpio with Sagittarius Moon, born in the year of the Metal Ram. All the possible Western Sun and Moon sign combinations can be found and learned about here. This information is for educational purposes only. I do not own any of the following content. For more astrology lectures and my own Cosmic Consciousness audio lecture series, check out How to Rock Spirit's YouTube channel, where I rap about everything from philosophy and transpersonal psychology, to psychedelic spirituality, to tantric and occult mysticism, and even to Marx and Engels and the materialist sciences. See you there! Sun in an Earth Sign Basically motivated by material needs and practicality. Recharges energy through working with the physical world, being productive, and feeding the senses. The Sun in the Signs, Interpretive Guidelines, Sun in Taurus. Vitality is rooted in earthy physical sensations. Needs to be recognized for reliability and ability to produce. Creative expression results in tangible objects or in gathered resources. Takes pride in possessions, assets, and in one's own stability. Expression of individuality can be hindered by hesitation and reluctance to change. The moon sign and its element. These notes are also still from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook. The element of the moon sign represents an attunement from the past that manifests automatically, a mode of feeling and being that one needs to be aware of in order to feel inwardly secure and at home with oneself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. By such modes of self-expression, you are satisfying a deep inner need that can give stability to your entire personality. The moon's element also shows how you react instinctively to all experiences, with what energy you spontaneously adjust yourself to the flow of life. Moon in water signs reacts to changing experiences with sensitivity and emotion. Feels comfortable with self when feelings are deeply involved. Sign Position of the Moon How one reacts based on subconscious predisposition Moon in Pisces Reacts sensitively, compassionately, empathetically, evasively, vulnerably, and idealistically. Periods of unfocused, freely imaginative daydreaming help bring emotional tranquility. Needs a sense of oneness with the world and the universe to feel secure and right about oneself. Nurtures others through healing compassion and sympathy. Feels secure when serving humanity or a spiritual ideal. Feelings about self are nebulous, which can inhibit self-understanding and confidence. Flows easily with changing situations. Contentment comes through giving of self and or transcending the personal self and its fears. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science. Copyright 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust. Moon in Pisces. Visionary, dreamer, romantic, sensitive, emotionally positive, with a divine discontent that nothing of this world will take away. Poetical and mystical if unafflicted. Makes a great gentleness in the person, but doesn't help in a worldly sense. Good for musicians and artists, for this gives a greatly heightened sensitivity to life. A great sympathy for the underdog. Suffering through the emotions for this position of the moon is difficult. Needs to strengthen the will in order to withstand the impact of negative vibrations from others. In a male chart, attracts a sensitive and sentimental female. Not overstrong physically. Sun-Moon Alchemy, the elemental combinations of the sun sign and the moon sign. The following information comes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign. Copyright Charles and Susie Harvey, 1994, again in 2003, and first published by Aquarian, 1994. Each Sun Moon type is a combination of elements. In the following descriptions of the element combinations, please remember that the pairing can be either way around. For example, a Fire Earth combination refers equally to Sun Fire Moon Earth as it does to Sun Earth Moon Fire. 
There will be subtle differences, but the dynamic is generally the same. Earth-water combinations. Flanders and Swan sing mud, mud, glorious mud, and you do not have to be a hippopotamus to appreciate the qualities of mud. Think of the rich fertility of well-irrigated fields, the potter's clay on the wheel ready to be formed, the clay of bricks and tiles, or the malleable concrete which forms the basis of so much construction. This is one of the most practical, supportive, and nourishing of combinations. It combines the capacity to feel sympathy for others with a devotional determination and enterprising ability to do what needs to be done to meet others' needs. American churchman Reinald Neighbor, Sun and Cancer, Moon and Taurus, gives eloquent expression to this type's orientation. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. When the sun is in earth and the moon in water, the individual can readily develop a practical understanding of day-to-day -day life and seems to have the innate wisdom to know what is important and what is not in a situation. For this type, both practical and emotional needs make sense and should intertwine in a balanced, normal life. Consider this view of the 18th century wit Samuel Johnson, who had sun in Virgo and moon in Pisces. A man is in general better pleased when he has a good dinner upon his table than when his wife talks Greek. A bit dated, yes, chauvinistic indeed, but nevertheless, Johnson expresses that practical wisdom and measured sensuality of the earth-water combination. Shadow Side the earth-water individual wants both material and emotional security, and therefore usually views change and challenge as threatening. As a result, there is with this type a propensity to get stuck in the mud, and a danger of getting swamped by duty and slowed down by the inertia of possessiveness and limited viewpoint. Life is highly personal for this individual, what they can see, taste, hear, smell, and feel and how it might affect their world is all important to them. The larger, detached viewpoint is usually lost on them. They may need to learn how to move just a little out of their well-defined groove so that life does not become too stagnant. And like quicksand, their minds can suck them down. Relationships. The earth-water person normally finds immense satisfaction in a relationship that brings out the innate, dependable, resourceful, gentle, devotional qualities of this combination. This individual feels affirmed and valued when they know they are needed and valued for their useful accomplishments. People with this combination are particularly good at serving and caring for others, and once they find their romantic niche, they get on with nurturing and nest building. Hence, they make excellent partners and tend to prefer sitting around the fire drinking hot cocoa to lots of razzle-dazzle on the town. This type helps to ground and contain the more unstable, exciting fire air type, and there's likely to be a mutual attraction due to the striking differences. Male versus female. This is a primarily receptive, feminine combination and has all the hallmarks of the female stereotype. Caring, domestic, loyal, quiet, and persevering. Both male and female of this type will tend to be introverts and can work well on their own in an artistic medium, but they could also develop a shrewd business sense and do well in the marketplace. They can employ their pragmatism and sensitivity in quiet but purposeful ways, sussing out the climate of the times and the integrity of would-be business partners. The following observations about your Sun-Moon combination are drawn from insights gained from astrologer Jefferson Anderson's book, Sun Sign Moon Sign, an observation of many different individuals. The writing itself comes from Mantak Chia and William Yu Wei's Cosmic Astrology, copyright 2012 by North Star Trust, published by Destiny Books. Sun in Taurus, Moon in Pisces, The Shy Person. Your sensitive nature pertaining to stressful states of affairs means it is hard for you to learn from others, even though you are very capable. Your persona is goal-directed, courageous, and abiding, but you find it extremely difficult to live up to that perspective. You are tempted to bury your head in the sand when people actually expect you to live up to that view. This is because you have a fear of failure. The first thing to learn is to accept yourself. 
You have a gentle approach to life for a Taurus, a great deal of depth. This combination wins admiration. The spiritual and artistic are in your realm, and you are the most imaginative of all the Taurus combinations. This is an interesting combination of the tender and poetic inspiration of a Pisces, along with the experience and wisdom of the Taurus. The thought of hurting others is painful to you. Your primary challenge in life will be to overcome your self-consciousness. You should see it as an asset that you have such a sensitive emotional nature and develop a compassion for yourself. Disapproval and frustration with yourself will not do you any good. Choosing your friends is quite important because you are a highly malleable person who is easily influenced. Romantic areas make this all the more the case because it would be unfortunate to be dominated by a highly aggressive individual who insists on pushing you around. Long-term happiness is quite important and the Taurus Pisces woman should be especially careful about marrying too young. Be certain that whomever you marry can understand your sensitive, kind, and gentle being and treat you accordingly. Lastly, leave fantasy land behind and take a journey to the real world. Open up and communicate freely with those around you in order to release your smothered feelings. You have so much to offer, why keep it inside yourself? Self-renewal is always available to you, and you have the usual perseverance of a Taurus. Faith is renewing for natives of the Pisces moon, and they can acquire strength that way. Rather than denying your spiritual assets, improve them. A beautiful unfolding of your creative abilities will take place when you toss aside your prohibitions. A famous Taurus Pisces native is Leonardo da Vinci. He is a remarkable, artistic, and spiritual person who exemplifies the possibilities of this combination. A quick word from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign. Sun in Taurus, Moon in Pisces, your greatest strengths. Quiet, self-contained strength. Capacity for practical sympathy and understanding. Resourcefulness and willingness to work hard and long to make your seemingly idle dreams come true. Social conscience. Your greatest weaknesses? Naivety. Deep stubbornness, which you cover with an apparent flexibility. Sudden despondent moods, which can sink into self-pity. Resistance to logical argument when it does not suit you. Images for integration. Through the power of the imagination, a man is healed. A poet prepares his accounts in verse. The Mona Lisa.